Hey everyone, and welcome back to Aragami. On this video, we're going to be completing the seventh chapter, Kyu the Yu. And uh, that's about as good as I can pronounce that. My Japanese is mediocre at best. And you may notice I already have a rank for this level, and that's because I've been dealing with a bug. So I'm going for the medal to kill all of the enemies in the uh, chapter, but uh, sometimes it'll show the incorrect number. So there's only 38 enemies in the level, but sometimes it'll show 40, and that'll prevent you from getting the medal. And unfortunately, I've gotten that a few times, so I'm hoping that running through the level once will maybe clear that up for me, but we'll see. And uh, I'm also going to complete this uh, without getting detected, so the normal two medals I've been getting. We're gonna do that on this level as long as it doesn't bug out. Alright, so let's begin. Are you alright? That vision, the Kaiho General's memory, it's still echoing in my head. We're lucky we found that mural, it's a shame Kaiho were on our tail. Kurasu, what is it? Aragami, over there! Hikaru, Kaiho's last captain. Captain Hikaru, sir. The talisman in the mausoleum of the fallen has been taken, sir. Awaiting orders. Stay. Sir? Stay here. That's not the first talisman they have taken, and the only ones left are within the city walls. The intruder will be headed there. But... I thought we took care of all the stragglers, but at least one remains, and they know what they're doing. She is getting stronger. I can feel it. Hold your ground. Stay alert. The enemy could be here soon. They're making for the city. Y yes sir. I'll return to my station within the walls. There's no time to lose. Go! Alright, first thing I want to do is spend some of my skill points, so let's do that. There's two new abilities I want to pick up. The first is Sakaku 2. The decoy explodes when approached by an enemy, blinding nearby victims. So that's really good for uh, handling two people at once. You get one or both blinded, you go in, and you take them both out. So I'm going to get that ability. And the other one I get, want to get is uh, Banmoku 2. Uh, attach Mark of the Aragami to all revealed enemies. So that is awesome. You just turn on Banmoku, look around all over the place, and you're going to mark everything, whether it's behind a wall or in a building. It doesn't matter. As long as it's in range, it's going to get marked. And that's extremely helpful on this level, especially once we get into the city. All right, let us pr proceed. That was Hikaru, Kaiho's last living captain. Not too impressive, huh? He's in the general's memories. He might have some information we can use. What are you thinking, Aragami? Yeah. Nothing. Let's go. Alright, right behind this shrine, right at the start, is a scroll. Gonna get us a skill point and a piece of lore. And I believe this one is under Yuki's Chronicles. And it is Volume 9, A Vast World. We were lost again, but unlike our lonely journey into the wild, we were safe at home, where our lives and history were in rotting tatters. Defeating our village's attackers resulted in the same outcome, loneliness. But now, with the weight of those dead men weighing heavily upon us, we almost didn't notice when Kibo appeared in the skies, 
His broad, black form was like the very embodiment of Amaterasu's messenger, bringing us hope. Master Tsuyoshi had sent Kibo to check on the village. The sage had created a link between his soul and the bird, so we knew following Kibo on his long flight home would be a safe decision. We set off, without speaking a word between us, walking just behind his shadow. As we walked, our eyes opened. More and more, hour upon hour, day upon day, we realized the vast world was in front of us. We didn't trust or even speak to anyone to begin with, but with every new place and culture we encountered fascinated us. Weeks later, we understood our place in a bigger picture, in a larger conflict. Okay, so there's no enemies to worry about in this area. We're just going to run until we get to the cemetery, and that's when we need to start sneaking. Can you believe it? This is where it all started. Yuki. Doesn't exactly fill you with confidence. No wonder Captain Yuki was ambushed here. It's as foggy as etched glass. Soldiers, keep your eyes open. The intruder must not enter the city. Even with my eyes peeled like potatoes, I can hardly see my own nose. And yeah, let me go to Kage just in case I have some issues. Kage is my get out of jail free card. See if we can get that guy's attention, and we can. We'll hide out over here until he gets near, and then we'll take him out. It might get the attention of another patrol, but if it does, I can just go invisible. And actually, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to use Bonmoku. Let's go ahead and use that. You can see it's going to mark everyone now, which is super useful. Or at least everyone in range. It won't get those guys way over there because they're too far away. But these are the only ones I'm worried about anyway. So it did exactly what I wanted it to. Let's get that guy's attention. We'll hide out right here. Yeah, he might see me here actually, but that's okay. Well, maybe not. I had to go on. Oh, no. He's pun Moku again. Uh, well, let's just use Kage. Probably didn't need to, but uh, rather not screw up. I'll happily use a charge not to die. I doubt I'll use both here anyway, so shouldn't matter. There's going to be a shrine fairly close, so I won't have to go that long before I can get those stacks refill refilled. Or charges refilled, I mean. Okay, we got him right there. Let's go ahead and take him out. And let's go for that guy next. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do that if we can. That archer's looking right at him. I don't like that one bit. Maybe. Well, he's coming this way. Let's see, maybe I can get into a better position. Let's see, can I get his attention? I can. And we'll hide out over here. Should be far enough where he won't see me. There we go. Okay, next one I want to get is that archer on the right. Let me put a mark on him. He's my next target. And I should be able to jump across the shadows to get to him. Although I'm out of juice. All out of that wonderful shadow essence. Okay, let's get over here. Now when I take him out, I need to make sure the archer on the other side is not looking in this direction. Which I had really bad timing. He just started doing that. So I'm going to have to wait here for a moment. Wait till he turns back towards the other direction. Let's see. Have I got everyone marked? I think I do. Okay, he turned. So I can take this guy out. No problem now. There we go. And let's see. How do I want to do this? What if I could just hop across the top of here? Might be able to. Let's see. That's... Uh, it's being finicky. Let's not mess with that. It could turn out really bad 
So instead, we'll uh, go this way. We can go over here, get that dude's attention. And once he comes around the corner, I can take him out. Although I'm a little worried about that archer seeing me. Or that guy, actually. Go invisible. There we go. While I'm invisible, we'll get rid of this corpse. Once this guy gets closer, we can take him out as well. There we go, and that just leaves Mr. Archer. I could probably ledge kill. Let's see. Ah, nope, he's not on that ledge, otherwise I could. Well, just sneak up behind him. Boom! Take that. Okay, and I know there's a scroll in this area. Let's use Kurasu. And, yep, it's over by that big tree. So let's go pick that up. And another piece of lore. And we got Volume 10, Back to Society. September 18th, Year 39 of the Fifth Age. In the end, the only clue we found about Sayogosin is that they fled to the south after striking Inadi's village. Not much to go on, but at least fate rewarded us with Yamiko, who survived their attack somehow. We decided to go back to our new base of operations in the city of Kyuliu. We have called off our search for Sayogosin for now. Children can be challenging. Yumiko is difficult with everyone in the clan except me. I'm a shadow assassin, not a nanny. At least Yumiko is gifted. She is far from normal, displaying skills with stealth and shadow essence already on par with those of my best men. It has made things easier in her training, but other aspects of her education have been far more challenging. I'm just glad we found her before it was too late, before her mind had lost all semblance of humanity. Somehow, we have given Yumiko a place in society again as a member of Dakudaga. Since arriving here with us, her skills have improved considerably. She has even begun behaving like a human being again. I'm certain we shall be presenting her with a dark dagger in no time. She will be one of our greatest agents. So Yumiko is quite strong with the Shadow Essence. And I'm still convinced that she is indeed the, the um, Shadow Empress or whatever it's called. What's this? Could it be? Another memory from the general. Was he escaping? Seems like this was a long time ago. That man with the patch over one eye. And that sword. There's no doubt. So it's true. Hyo is... dead. I knew it. In the bottom of my heart, I knew, but I refused to believe. Again and again, the forces of light take away those I care about. Mother. Father. Hyo. They will pay. Who do they think they are, tearing the ground out from beneath me, in my own home? Yamiko. S sorry I lost my temper. Hyo will be avenged. All of them will be. What? I'm a vengeful spirit, after all. Aragami. Alright, let's go to this shrine, recharge our abilities, which I very much need because I used up uh, both my invisibilities, I believe, and both of my mon, uh, bon mokus. Soldiers, the mausoleum of the fallen is not far from here. The enemy is approaching. Don't let your guard down. All right, we got that dude over there. We got an archer up in that nest. Got to make sure he doesn't get us. Let's come over here. There we go, and we can kill this guy right here on the side of this building. Alright, once he's dead, I'm going to pop up to the top of this and come around the side, which I can use to get up into that archer's nest and take him out. Oh, crap. Well, that was bad. 
Luckily, I didn't fall on anybody. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's get rid of that corpse, and let's go ahead and use Banmoku. Let's get everybody marked. There we go. It didn't get some of the people way on the other side of this camp. I think I can manually mark them from this distance. Yeah, it looks like it's working. All right, there we go. Switch back to Kage in case something goes wrong. Now this guy right here, he should path over to the back side of this house and when he does, I'm gonna kill him. And that's exactly where he's going right now. Let's let him get all the way back there. And that should be good. Oh, come on, use it! Quit scaring me with your slow blade. Okay, he's gone. Let's get this guy's attention with the bell. Here he comes to his impending doom. Boom, right in the chest. Okay, how do we want to do... Oh, I know what we could do. We could use our new ability, Sakaku 2. Let's put it right there. That should get his attention. And when he gets close to it, it's going to blind him. Which will make him a very, very easy kill. There we go, he's blinded. And dead. Okay, let's see. We got that guy going along the side of that tent. And we got another dude off in this direction. Let's just kill him back here. Don't think it, he's of any concern. There we go. And that dude seems to be coming all the way around that tent. If he does do that, I think I could easily take him out back here. See, nah, he's going the other way. Well, actually, let's just let's just use the bell. Let's get him over here. Oh, hopefully, I didn't put it too close to that torch, though. No, I think that's probably good. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, yep, we're good. Okay. Let's go back over here. See, what else do we got left? Got that dude right there. Let's get his attention over here. Ring that bell. Hide over here. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I'm still kind of close. I think it'll be okay. There we go. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to lay a big trap. Let's switch to Shinin. And I'm gonna go right here. Aragami, we're near one of the city's sluice gates. It's likely we can use it to get in. So I'm gonna drop a trap right here. And then once this guy gets close, I'm gonna ring the bell and it should get everyone's attention. And we'll just hide over here. And yep, everybody's been alerted, so they're all gonna go check out that spot. And I'm going to activate the trap, kill all four of them. Now that's going to affect my score slightly because it's only 100 points for all four of them. But I should still get rank S, so I'm not too worried. And that clears out this area. So there's a scroll in this area. So let's use Kurasu. It'll show you where it is. It's in that building back here. So let's go pick that up. And another skill point, another piece of lore. And this piece of lore is going to be... Volume 7, Effects of the Seal. 1. For Tsuyoshi's Notes. September 11th, year 45 of the 5th age. Two days have passed and the seal persists. It has taken so little time to gather so much important data. It seems that, although a soul is divided, an imperceptible connection remains between its parts. I can feel my partner's precise presence through the part of his soul inside me. 
He can feel where I am too. This connection seems independent of distance. We've done some tests. No matter how far away or obscured we were, one of us was always able to find the other in no time. September 12th, year 45 of the fifth age. Last night I heard my partner's screams while I slept. I woke with a start, thinking the nightmare was in my own mind. The second time his scream reached me, I rushed to his room immediately. He was lying on his bed, asleep. Evidently uncomfortable, but not in any pain. I realized nobody else had heard him. Then another scream, louder than the others. Covering my ears didn't help. I woke him and the screaming stopped. He was having a nightmare. I could hear his dreams. Creepy. That's enough to send someone going crazy. Alright, so all we got left to do in this area is get rid of the light essences, or light essences, the light um, orbs or whatever they're called. Maybe they're called light essences, I don't know where I got that name from. Light essence maybe, but light orb definitely. Okay, they're both taken care of so we're going to run to the back and through the sluice gate. Cutie, at last. Feels like decades since I was last here. How far until the next talisman? This is the outer wall. Kudasu says the next one is near the inner walls. We've some way to go yet. Alright, make sure you hit this shrine. To get your skills back. Let's jump up here. Just to use Banmoku. We're gonna use that, get a bunch of people marked. Doesn't matter if they're in the buildings or wherever they are, it's gonna mark them as long as we're looking at them and they're in range. He's out of range, let's manually mark him. And he's out of range as well, let's mark him. And I believe that's, oh, there's Archer up there I can mark. All right, that should be just about everyone. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go to the other side. So I'm going to go across the river, over here. Have you seen Captain Hakar lately? He's always been intimidating, but lately, I don't know, he's even worse. Yeah, I heard the rumors. Someone said that the magic Hikaru and the others used to imprison the Shadow Empress is taking its toll, just like it did with Captain Yuki. It was different with Captain Yuki though, he became weak. Captain Hokado has just become intense, sinister, not entirely himself. He used to have a sense of justice, of honor, but now? I just pity whoever crosses his path. Alright, so the way we're going to take care of these guys is with Sukaku. So we'll drop it right here. And uh, it's going to blind at least one of them. The one that isn't blinded will take him out. So he's not blinded, let's take him out. And then we'll kill the blinded one. And there we go. Let's get rid of these corpses. Alrighty, and let me put Kage back on just in case things go bad. I'm gonna hop up to the sniper nest. Archer nest, I should say. Take this guy out. Hopefully, oh crap. Oh crap. I don't think he saw me. I think I just alerted him. The only issue is if he sees that corpse. Which I don't think he did. No, he did not. Okay, let's see if I can get over there and get rid of it. Yep. Okay, good. Had a close call there, but uh, we're still good. Okay, let's go down. Let's go across so he doesn't see us. And we got a patrol right there. We're going to go in this room right here. And we're going to destroy the light orb. And that will likely get that guy's attention. Although it didn't. So, that works. Uh, let's just go ahead and bring him in here with a bell. Once he goes through the door, I'll take him out. There we go. And now I'm gonna go across the bridge. Now be very careful, these 
like floating flame things, if you get too close to them, they'll stick to you and kill you. So even though uh, it has that like uh, pool of light around it, it uh, seems to attract a little bit larger than that. So don't uh, go by that pool of light. It's a little bit bigger. And like I said, if it gets stuck to you, you're pretty much dead. I've never survived it. Although it's only happened to me once, so I could have just got unlucky, I suppose. Okay, let's take this guy out. Archer did not see me, so that's good. Let's get rid of that corpse, and then I'm going to go down and pick up a scroll. There's a scroll in this building right here. We're going to have to go past this flame thing. I'm getting a little close to it. That's a little concerning. Okay, here we go. And let's pick that up. And another skill point. Another piece of lore. And this one's going to give me... Tsuyoshi's Notes, Volume 8, Effects of the Seal 2. October 5th, Year 45 of the 5th Age. Each of us have performed the sealing technique with each other and released the link after a few days. The results are conclusive. Telepathy is possible between subjects who share soul fragments. One can communicate with the other and the link can even transfer memories and feelings. The downside is that the research has revealed more side effects, which vary depending on the subject, but seem to show common signs depending on how the technique has affected your soul. If part of your soul was transferred to someone else, you present certain side effects. If part of someone else's soul was sealed with yours, you present different ones. The technique's strengths and weaknesses both disappear once the connection is cut and the soul fragments are returned to their owners. We keep iterating the process, resting between longer transfer sessions. Having your soul shattered, corrupted by another, certainly impacts the physical body, a sort of stress on the fibers of your being. Accumulating too much of this could be dangerous. And let's get back out of here. Uh, let's jump all the way across just to make sure I don't get in that light. Don't want that ending my, uh, life there. Alright, there we go. And we're gonna go back across the river to the other side. And we got a patrol back there. Looks like he's alone, so I'm gonna get over there as quickly as possible, take him out. There we go. Not a problem. Alright. Let's go this way. Oh. We've got... Hmm. we got two guys here, but they're a little spread out. I would like them closer, if possible. If they get close, I'll use Sakaku. And get both of them. Uh, and this should probably work. Let's put it right there. To blind one of them, if not both. Okay, there we go. He's blinded. Take him out. And now the blinded dude. And then we got a dude inside that building. We'll go take him out. I've got Kage up just in case I run into issues. Okay, there we go. I believe uh, there's only like maybe four or five enemies left in the level. And uh, hopefully, like I said earlier in the video, the um, tally for how many enemies there are doesn't break on me. Because that's what it's been doing. Okay, this guy, I wonder if I could get his attention with a bell. Nope. Uh, that, that orb is making me nervous. Let's just go up. Oh, I'm out of shadow essence. What am I doing? Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Let's try this again. Okay, jump there. Oh, hello. Uh, crap. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Get him quick. No, I don't want to kill him in the light. What am I doing? Well, that's gonna be a problem now. One that I'm gonna have to deal with. 
But it should be okay. I think he's the only one that could possibly spot that corpse. And he's about to die. Right now. Oh, but he probably heard that. Or not. Somehow he didn't hear that. Uh, Alright, well, let's just go kill him then. And uh, someone heard me. Let's hide over here. Whoever it is, they should come through the door. And we can take them out. And then I believe we've just got the archers left. There we go. And uh, if you didn't notice, in this building is a scroll, so we're going to go pick that up. Skill point and lore. This lore is going to be volume 6 of Tsuyoshi's Notes, The Sealing Technique. August 20th, year 45 of the 5th age. It was clear that the soul transfer technique was a powerful tool for weakening enemies. Nevertheless, a substantial drawback is that the summoner needs to stay perfectly still and very focused. Otherwise, the link will break and the technique will be cancelled. We must experiment further. September 9th, year 45 of the 5th age. We've done it! I myself performed the experiment with one of the other masters. We broke the life link while the transfer technique was active, locking a small part of his soul in my body. The very instant it was sealed within me, I felt his essence emanating through my chest and limbs. The limits of my power have increased, and conversely his have decreased proportionately, as with the soul transferring technique. What is different here is that this transfer now lasts until I make a link between us, unsealing his soul from within me. We have decided to stay like this for a few hours and document any effects in the short term. This could be a revolution. Okay. Like I said, I think uh, we've just got those archers left. So let's hop up to the roof. Oh, actually, there's more than the archers left, but they're the only ones I'm concerned about at the moment. I think there's still some guards over in the courtyard at the exit. Uh, okay, that archer's turning. Let's go ahead and take this one out quickly. If I can get over there. Come on. There we go. Get rid of that corpse. And uh, good timing because that archer is about to look over here. Let's hop over here. We'll just, we'll just swing around. No reason to put ourselves in any danger with that dude. Let's just play it safe. Once he turns... He's gonna go... He's gonna be dead. Sneaky sneaky! Boom! Okay. So yeah, there's there's a dude there and I'm pretty sure there's another... Right... Yeah, right there. Although I can't mark him for some reason. There we go. So those are the only two left. Um, I'm gonna come over here. There's a light orb on the second floor here I want to get rid of. There we go. And there's another scroll. It's the last scroll on the level. It's uh, back in this direction. This one always makes me nervous because there's a trap thing right in front of it. So you got to get kind of close to it and then port in. Just be really careful with it. So there we go. And there we go, last scroll and last piece of lore. We got Volume 11, The Fox, The Snake, and The Dragon for Hyo Chronicles. December 7th, Year 40 of the 5th Age. Yumiko is the fourth woman to ever enter Dakudaga's ranks. And among the few female members, she is also the youngest. Some of my men find it hard to swallow, especially the ones that Yumiko beat to the Dark Dagger ceremony. The worst thing is when they try to hurt her, physically and mentally. They end up either unconscious or in pain for days. Over and over again. I can't help but laugh. In Dakudaga, it doesn't matter who you are, but what you can do. She is testament to that fact. 
This year, two more members with unusual abilities joined the guild. Orochi from the Hebi clan and Ryuta from the Ryu clan. Uh, both clans have worked this land for eons, and the two boys seem to be at the peak of their abilities. I teamed them up with Yumiko. She didn't like the idea to begin with, but she has learned to trust them. I can see it building, like a chain forged with unbreakable iron. Takudaga has never witnessed a team so young yet so powerful. I even like their motif, which is the result of putting their family symbols together. The fox from Yumiko, the snake from Orochi, and the dragon from Ry Ryuta. It is my duty as a leader to be impartial about all of my soldiers, but that isn't easy with three truly special students under your wing. Okay, now to just get past this thing. As far as I'm concerned, the last difficult part of the level. And there we go. Alright, so I just gotta get rid of those two guys. And then we'll finish up and hopefully it doesn't bug and I get uh, both of the medals for... Um, Killing all of the enemies, and for not getting detected. And I will be very upset if it bugs out again. It's... I didn't have any problems on my practice profile, but the real one has been a big pain in the butt. And I don't know why. But hopefully, running the level beforehand fixed it. So if you guys run into the same problem, that's what corrected it for me. Hopefully you'll get the same result. And, uh, let's see, I can just port right next to him, take him out. And there we go, that should be everything. All 38 enemies, as far as I know. Let's use Bonmoku just to be sure. Make sure I didn't accidentally forget anyone. And it doesn't seem like I did. Alright, let's finish this up, hopefully it works. Come on, do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! Oh. And again, still bugged. Okay, well, I'm just gonna use this recording. Um, hopefully I can fix this bug. There's actually only 38 hostiles in this level. I know because I've done it uh, and got all threats killed on my practice profile. Um, and it was 38 out of 38, so... Uh, we're just gonna use this recording. I did do it. It just didn't show it for whatever reason um, And I'll figure out how to fix this one way or another So uh, anyways, we got the never detected. We really got the all threats killed even though it's not showing it Chapter time was 23 minutes 42 seconds all collectibles found suspicions were raised 37 times No bodies found no times detected rank is s score is 5625 and uh, normally when you complete the level, you would get the trophy Kyuryu, but I've already done that. So you'll get that trophy as well when you complete the level. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.